Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 122. I'm Ryan Thogmartin, that is Jeff the Funeral Commander Harbison, and Mr. Tim Bridgers is joining us today for a Changemakers episode. And uh, Jeff, who's our title sponsor for this episode? You know, as always, the engine, the, the fuel behind the engine is C&J Financial. Jamie and the team, they have an awesome product because, frankly, the funeral's not over until you get paid for it. So they help you get your money faster. And we're going to talk about getting some money later. I think, Tim, you work for an organization that not only helps you with money, but you'll give it to them as well, right? We, we would love to, absolutely. Okay, but you got to pay it back. So anyway, That's right. let's uh, share C&J's promo. What payment method do you prefer families use for your goods and services? Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance as the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With CJ Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. All right, everybody, we're here for a Changemakers episode today with Tim Bridgers from Live Oak Bank, and we're going to talk about something really exciting that uh, was initiated early in the spring uh, called the Roundtable. So, Tim, will uh, you reintroduce yourself and share with us about the roundtable? Yeah, sure. I appreciate it. Again, my name is Tim Bridgers, and uh, I'm the general manager here for the funeral home and cemetery lending team at Live Oak Bank, um, where we specialize in, in lending um, in the funeral and cemetery space. Um, and as Jeff said, we're very excited about the roundtable coalition. We added coalition to the name over the past month. Um, um, we have an event per year that we call the round table itself, but our efforts go way beyond um, that one time event. And that's to really to kind of add value back to the profession. And we can, we could talk about what that means, but yes, the round table coalition, um, you, Jeff, is it okay if I go ahead and define what that is? Um, yeah, by all means. Uh, okay. So the round table coalition is a collection of industry leaders. And when I say leaders, I mean, individuals that are not just leaders in their organizations, but they're very present in our profession. You see them in and around trade shows throughout the, the country. You're seeing them writing content already. Um, you're seeing them inside of the funeral homes in the weeds, um, understanding the needs. And I think that's a component that really makes them leaders. They understand the needs. So the Roundtable Coalition is a collection of these professionals that represent a vast array of different services that serve our funeral home and cemetery owners. And that collection of expertise will help us to create valuable content in the form of articles that we are working on now that's gonna be released in all the major publications around the profession that many of the home, uh, funeral home and cemetery owners already are engaged with. Um, we're also uh, dreaming up some ways to provide continuing education in a more creative um, way um, definitely not discouraging the attendance of trade shows because we think there is some very uh, good benefits of doing that, right? Um, but we also want to make other ways for funeral homeowners to have access to this information. And what better way to learn than to learn from the people that is, are serving you, and that's our vendors. So these lenders are made up of most of the, the collective vendors in our space, um, and again, the mission is to help our funeral homeowners grow, adapt, whether they are trying to learn how to add different components to their business to adapt to the changes that we talk about so much, the cremation rates, um, competition, right? How to deal with that, how and when, um, to how to price the goods appropriately, 
um, how to train your staff appropriately as a manager, um, just everything A to Z when it comes to running a business. So we envision the Roundtable Coalition to be a one-stop shop with all this collective experience. And what's so cool about it, Jeff, and my favorite point, and I'll stop blabbing here, is that the Roundtable Coalition is made up of what the profession sees as competitors. It's made up of people that are competing against each other for business, um, different printing companies, different consulting companies, but everyone has agreed to come together in this light to help provide value. And so I think I'm pretty excited about it. It's good stuff. And so Tim, what was, what was the driving force behind creating the idea for the, the round table coalition? Yeah. You know, I think it's no surprise that live Oak bank loves partnerships, right? We, we designed our bank to be a verticalized bank, which means we have different groups and teams dedicating to one specific profession. And we happen to be one of those uh, dedicated to funeral home and cemetery. Um, because of that referral strategy, we depend on our partners to help us not only understand the business better so we can provide better services to our customers, but we also depend on our customers because it's impossible for us and my team to be in every funeral home at the time that they need financing, right? So it's a way to expand our network and to get the word about who we are and what we do out much better and more efficiently. So through connecting with these, our partners in the space, and when I say partners, people like you, Ryan, Jeff, people like you that identify financial needs and send them our way, we realized that there was um, this discontinuity, or I did. I felt there was a discontinuity, a lack of communication around how we can better provide not only to the funeral home and cemetery owners, but how can we better provide to each other inside of the profession as vendors um, and not really see it as much as competition, but recognizing what one consultant may have as a strength and what they may have as a weakness and how this consultant can, can possibly come in and complement that, right? Um, so again, that was the vision and my vision was, man, wouldn't it be cool to have a table of individuals that compete all year Come put that aside and collaborate. That's where it started. And we did that last year. And now it's just evolving into something much bigger. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. So, I agree. Uh, Ryan and I attended the round table. And it was interesting and refreshing that the conversation that took place, uh, there was no grandstanding. There was no positioning. It was truly a conversation about how can we work together for the betterment of this profession. Uh, the funeral directors are certainly the engine, but we need to provide the fuel for them to do their jobs. How do we make their job better, which ultimately is serving a family? And there's so many different facets and avenues of approach that comprise this industry to make it work. And so I believe that a gathering of those who have a voice and who make a difference, the roundtable is the right decision, the coalition. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and I'll restate it again. You know, um, this is very delicate. You know, it's, it's delicate. What we're not here to do is we're not here to try to get customers to change their mind about the service providers they're using, the vendors they're using. That's not the attempt. We're not here to give one vendor more attention than the other. That's not the objective. The objective is to work together, to pull together really um, solid, uh, dense content that can really help business owners be successful. And at the end of the day, I believe truly, Jeff, Ryan, that that adds credibility to the vendors. And in the end, everyone wins. And I believe there's enough for everyone. I think so. Um, I think it's a much better sign that we're working together than competing. Agreed. Well, speaking of working together, uh, Live Oak Bank is one of our sponsors for the Funeral Nation show. So uh, if we could take just a moment and let's send out a message about what you guys do there. Introducing a new way for cemetery owners to grow their business. The Inventory Growth Loan, powered by Live Oak Bank. Want a better way to expand your inventory than the traditional pre-sale plans? Build and grow your businesses now. The Inventory Growth Loan leverages the value of newly constructed mausoleums and columbaria to get your expansion project moving sooner. 
Whether you're an existing cemetery needing to increase your number of crypts or a funeral home looking to add a memorial garden or columbarium, this product is your potential game changer. The Inventory Growth Loan recognizes the cyclical nature of cemetery sales. So when sales are low, enjoy less strain on your cash flow. When sales are strong, pay down more of your principal. A more aggressive principal pay down shortens the life of your loan and fuels further expansion. Plus, our online management system allows you to easily manage your new inventory, monitor sales, review payments, and check your loan balance all in one place. The system also automates disbursements after each sale, then updates your loan balance, which helps you stay connected to your business's performance. The inventory growth loan is faster and more flexible than traditional loans, which allows you to pay less and retain more value. Ready to grow? Contact us and learn more about the Inventory Growth Loan, powered by Live Oak Bank. Wonderful. We appreciate you, Tim, being involved and, and Live Oak Bank being involved with Funeral Nation and uh, Jeff and I being able to be involved in, in the roundtable this spring. Um, and, and you and I have had a number of conversations since this spring about you know how do, how do we continue to build up the roundtable coalition? How do we make it encompass more of, of the profession? What are some of the things coming up uh, where the Roundtable Coalition is going to be present touching other funeral directors and, and other professionals uh, in the space? Yeah, so we, we, we just launched our, uh, we started with a LinkedIn group page as a starting point. Um, we are in the mode right now. We've got our first article approved by all of the, the prior attendees, um, kind of introducing to the, to the profession what the Roundtable Coalition is. That's going to be uh, going out probably within the month. Um, American Funeral Director is looking at that. So uh, we have its place and it's moving forward. So I'm excited to launch that. We have um, individuals right now working on different articles and that's going to continue to grow. Matter of fact, I, I have it to do to reach out to Jeff and you, Ryan, about some of that too. So right now we have two or three different groups. And what's cool is those groups are competitors they are working together on content pieces right now. Um, one of those content pieces, for example, is in the pre-need insurance world, how are the West Coast trends different from the East Coast and what can the East Coast learn from the West and vice versa? Um, Funny you say that, Tim. I'm in Oceanside, California, and you're in Wilmington, North Carolina. We got right. that going on. I think we're setting we a precedent it. today, right? We are. It's it's meant to be. See, it's you know, it's be. just all this stuff works together. We didn't even know that was going yeah. on. This is like Step Brothers. I mean, I'm telling yeah. you. I mean, <laughs> we're best friends. <laughs> it's perfect. And and so so Ryan, I think you have look. You have to look forward to a consistent launch of articles to come out. That's kind of the beginning. Um, the other thing we're doing is planning these roundtable events. Mm -hmm. And um, last year, as you mentioned, or this year, earlier in the year, we had it at Sawgrass. I had a great time. Um, and we had, I believe, 12 to 14 companies represented, I believe. Well, in 2019, we've already sent out the invites. We're going to have 31 to 32 companies represented um, in, in the roundtable event. Uh, and it's actually going to be here in uh, Eastern North Carolina. It's going to be here in Wilmington on the coast, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty exciting. So, uh, some other things to come. Next phase, we're working on a website, and that website is what's going to not only house all of our content, but it's also going to house uh, possibly some continuing education videos. And what's cool is this is going to give all of our partners, all of the vendors, the opportunity to contribute and present that material. As we know, you know it's hard sometimes to get FaceTime at a trade show to speak, you know, and it's, it's just hard to do. You're not guaranteed every trade show to speak. And that's what creates so much value for our vendors and whatnot. So this I is think, a way to create value. <clears throat> I think that's another great point that you just brought up that uh, on trade shows, that's one of the things that Funeral Nation, when Ryan and I decided to create this thing is that most funeral directors don't go to national trade shows. Uh, some don't even have the opportunity to go to state association meetings, right? When they have right. a convention. So right. this, this is a medium that um, every funeral director has free access to, and that will help also propagate education and a broader understanding of what we do and who people all are in our industry. 
So I think that's a great idea. Yeah, and, and you know, ICCFA, NFDA, they're invited to the roundtable event next year. So it's definitely that we're not ousting them or trying to separate from them. If anything, we're actually trying to come alongside them and help support not only their effort, provide their people additional resources. Um, but, but like you said, look, it's a reality. Not everybody can leave their businesses to go to these events. I mean, they get expensive. Um, and some have young families and just can't leave. So we're going to try to create this resource to where they can do it in their home office. Awesome. Uh, let's take a quick break and talk about resources and updating and innovation is our sponsor, Sitch. Uh, let's roll the video real quick. Funeral Nation is sponsored by Sitch Casket. Sitch has changed everything for funeral homes facing declining profits from cremation with casket quality equal to the top domestic brands, but half the cost or better. Sitch, only your accountant can tell the difference. All right, so Tim, we're going to wrap this up. Um, the Roundtable <coughs> Coalition is something that's exciting, and I'm not sure it has ever been done in the funeral industry, to my knowledge. And I think it's smart that, uh, as you say, and, and refreshing, that competitors and people who are, in some respects, the idea factories that are providing information. You know, I, I, in fact, it's funny, I just literally finished and sent in an article about ideas. And I'm not sure that there's any great new ideas out here in our industry. The problem is implementation, right? So mm -hmm. there's lots of ideas. There's lots of different things that um, suppliers and people um, who create stuff, vendors, and even funeral directors have is that how can we help you implement those if you don't have that skill set? And That's this right. is a resource there. So uh, we look forward to seeing you, uh, I guess next time we'll be in Utah. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. Yeah, we have uh, selected in Utah and then right behind that NFDA. So it's pretty back to back. Good. Well, thank you and the uh, team from Live Oak. And also a shout out to all of our round table uh, folks. We're going to see you soon. We're going to get together. And this is something great. And literally, that's part of change makers. Uh, this is being affected in our industry by people who want to make a difference. That's right. Well, thank that's you, right. guys. I appreciate the time and look forward to growing with you. You got it. You got it. Take care, Tim. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.